Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with the Microsoft Vulnerable Driver Blacklist option is grayed out or not showing underneath Windows Security. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select privacy and security on the left panel. And then on the right side, underneath security, you want to select Windows security. You want to scroll down on this page, or you don't really actually even have to scroll down, but you just want to go underneath where it says device security. Go ahead and left click on that. And it should take you to a core isolation area here. So you want to make sure that is turned off. So if for some reason it's enabled, core isolation details, if it's toggled to the on position, you want to go toggle it off. And then there may also be something under here that says Microsoft Vulnerable Driver Blacklist. So hopefully at this point, once you have turned that off, then the blacklist should be able to be turned on or enabled. So that's really the main thing you want to take a look at there. So if you're still having a problem, you can close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'm recommending naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is out of the way, we are ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Now you want to go down. Well, actually, I selected the wrong one. But you want to go to the system. Like I said, I accidentally double clicked on software. But underneath the system, you want to double click on the current control set key. And then there should be a control key in here. Double click on that. And there should be a CI folder. Double click on it. And then finally, there should be a config folder in here. Just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the window here. Each bank slash indicates a different subfolder that we have gone under to get to this point. So now that we're in here, there should be a, a D word value on the right side that says vulnerable driver blacklist enable. Go ahead and double click on that. Set the value data to the number one. Base should remain hexadecimal. Select OK. And then once that is done, you can proceed to close out of the registry editor and you will need to restart your computer in order for the changes to take effect. And now that we're back in the windows, hopefully your issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.